Let me get out. Uh, right now it's windowed, like it's boxed. Yep. These teams have such long names. This is uh, gonna be Uger Booger Monsters versus Let's A Game. And it looks like pretty much everyone is on. Should be a good 4v4. This is the match between the 9th seed and the 10th seed, so um, in theory it should be a close match. Of course, I didn't really know how to seed teams 10 through 18, so who knows, but. Uh, Uger Booger has definitely been practicing, and from what I know, Let's a Game has also been playing in scrims and Pug, I think. Yeah, they've definitely uh, been one of the most active kind of new teams, so. Yeah. Sumo Andy. <laughs> Are we going to do a uh, pre game interview? Or? Uh, no. <laughs> got that 1.7 reload off. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna assume they're ready. Ooh! The nice. relog! <laughs> yeah, the, the relog gave him the clear advantage. Let's see how long of a name AR can handle. Ooger. Ooger. <laughs> monsters. Did it? Yeah. Props to AR. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Take care. Kenny was gonna. Kenny wanted me to say Uga Booga after every sentence in order to be a be a real race for wolf commentator. So Nice. Yeah. Okay. So for Uga Booger, we have Fright Spear, All Angel All Angels, Hoy Guy, and the Uga Booger man himself. AK Swirlin. <laughs> and uh, for lots of game. We have TDK, Mediocre, yeah, Mediocre Dude, Girthy Garth, the man himself, and Fireclaw. Some great meme names on both, both sides. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say except uh, Ooga Booga to both teams? Yeah. Ooga Booga. <laughs> Alright. We got lots of game ready. This is on Mountain Mayhem. This is round one of the Swiss bracket. Like I said, this is the ninth seed. Was the tenth seed? Um, so in theory, should be a close match. Good match. We haven't had any upsets yet. All the uh, all the higher seeded teams have won. So I'm hoping we have an upset in one of these last two. All right. Are you ready, yeah. Crat? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's -a go. Let's -a game. Alright. We're off. Also, I don't yeah, have the mod for Clint. I'm sorry. Alright, they're. Oh, okay, it looks like all th three members of. Uh. Uh. What's the game? We're looking to bridge. They all broke blocks there. Yep, poor guys bridging. Right. Ooh! The double hit yeah. in the air. So, both of them have three blocks across, but only Hoi Guy is across right now. 
We got mediocre dude first across for let's a game. And Hoy guy's pacing up the mountain, as expected. Looks like we got Freight Spear gonna go for the iron, I assume. And for <clears throat> and for Uka Bruger it's or wait, for, for, for let's, let's a game. game it's uh Fireclaw. Uh, Fireclaw. Ooh, he's getting pinged though. Yep. Yeah. He's killed by Freight Spear. We've got uh Ooga Booga Man and all angels pacing up. I assume Hoi Guy went for the TNT Spies. He did. Let's see if he builds a quick cannon or what he does. Still pacing up the mountain. Actually, uh, TDK is up first. Um, just barely though. But we've got two for Ooga Booga up. Looks like Hoi Guy is building a house cannon right here. Mm. Or maybe a TNT Supply cannon. Maybe. We'll see what that is. Can't yeah. tell right now. It was just 14. So TDK is just shooting. He's trying to hold the mountain with the power bow, which is a good call. Ooga Booga might just be rushing the PvE? I'm not sure. I think he might just be regening there. But we've definitely got all angels who's going to rush the parkour. I do know from scrims that he is usually their parkour runner. So I will keep an eye on that. Uh, Hoi Guy building a cannon. Let's check in on the iron real fast. Looks like both teams got their. Ooh, no. Fireclaw still hasn't got their iron, but looks like there's gonna be no cannon. Fright Spear's getting enchanting right now, so that's gonna be a quick run. House cannon is going off. Looks like it grazed the house for now. Yeah, the, traditionally with the house cannon, you wanna fire once to kind of soften it up and then again to actually get yep. everything. Yep, Some Pendy is gone around. there. All Angels is halfway through parkour. Lots to watch right now. Yeah. Oh, and Uga Booga Man or Swirlin is rushing the PvE with the Diamond Sword and the Proud Four chest. Yep. Looking like a Making good run so turn. far. But do they have the PvP wool? I assume maybe Fright Sphere is going to be running that with the Iron he has. Um, Hoi Guy is probably going to come up right now. Let's see if All Angels is going to run out. He's going for the pass around. He's got to do a little tough jump to uh, get to the pass around. Looks like TDK for um, Let's A Game is setting up a mountain cannon. Yep. Yeah. So, I think the question is, is Fireclaw going to be able to get this iron out quick enough? Because they are going to have to hold mountain in order to lock down the PvP wool. Yeah. Um, because Hoi Guy is already passed around, or sorry, All Angels is already passed around to parkour. And look at, like, Sforlin's going to be pretty safe into PvE, so... In order to win, um, Let's a Game is gonna have to control the mountain at any cost, and they're gonna have to they're gonna need resources for it because it looks like Freight Spear is already up with resources. So they gotta just this is gonna be the de determining two minutes for Let's a Game. Can they hold this mountain with a resource disadvantage and yeah. hold it long enough for um, for Fireclaw to get out? Let's see where Fireclaw get... is. If He's they can coming get up. This mountain cannon off. That should definitely help with mountain control, but Most it seems definitely. like they're not prioritizing it right now. Yeah, they've just got to hold this mountain at all costs. This is the match right here. It looks like their base, uh, <clears throat> Ooga Booga is basing up right Ooh. now. Ooga Booga Man died to a creeper, so that they do have some more time there. Yeah, that's good for it. Let's get. But he made it to the final room. It should be pretty easy to just get so back So let's the game has all four up here. Let's see how long they can hold this mountain. I wonder where Hoi Guy went with the TNT. He's also right here. So yeah, pretty much all the team members on either side are right here, except for all angels in the parkour. So this is this is the match right here. Who's going to win this mountain control? Fireclaw. Fireclaw is gearing up right now. He's inside the mountain. Wow. He's even got some diamond, so actually, um, they're pretty much set on resources. They just got to distribute them out. Yeah, but if they don't do that, then the resources have no point. So they got to do that quickly. Yep, they got to distribute the resources. Swirling's gonna start the PVE, but again, I don't think the PVE is all that is gonna be all that much of an issue. It's really gonna be the one my PVP wall that I assume Fright Spear is gonna do. Again, Fright Spear is enchanted up right now. I mean, uh, ironed up right now. I don't see any enchants yet. By the way, it looks like uh, Uber Burger's parkour runner just did the pass run and then jumped in the lava. So that's gonna take a while for them to get. Um, <laughs> that might be a to their touch run. 
Let's see. I don't see any safeties whatsoever. So yeah, they are gonna get that pass around. It's gonna be pretty slow yeah. to dig down all the way for that wool. But it is safe wool. And let's see if if Let's a game can distribute these resources, get them enchanted. Looks like Fireclaw's enchanting right now. They've gotta mm -hmm. win this mountain battle to win. The base location from Let's a game is making it so their PvE wool is gonna be a lot harder to harder than normal. Mobs are spawning all yeah. the time. I don't it's mind this though. This is a pretty safe location. You know, they're gonna have to fight a couple more mobs, but I, I do like this location. Yeah, sure, it's safe from cannons. It's, it's a trade-off, definitely. I'd say the biggest downside is that they have to go all the way up and over the mountain in order to get to the resources. Um, whereas, yeah. so like if they die, they won't have resources to come with mountain. Okay, looks like um, Ooga Booga has some temporary mountain control here. Um, let's see if they capitalize on it. Bright Spear is just shooting. I wonder yeah. who's running the one my PvP will. Maybe Swirlin's Ooga Booga Man is gonna run it? After he's done with PvE? Not sure. Oh, it looks like Let's a Game have um, Fireclaw starting the PvE wool. He doesn't have much resources, just the proc 4 and the diamond sword, possibly some strength. Uber mm -hmm. getting an angle on him from the PvE wool itself. Freight Spear so. is building a mountain cannon right now, gonna try to solidify the mountain control. Yeah, and cannon the stuff, all the stuff that's on the top of um, the mountain for Let's a Game. Yeah. This is definitely going to be big if you can get it off. Looks like he's missing some kind of supply, though. Yeah, Ooga Booga lie. Man is coming out. Did he get the wool? He did, okay. Yeah. So he presumably is going to be running the one wide. We've got Hoi Guy in the PvE shooting. He has an angle on Fireclaw. Fire Fireclaw's mm -hmm. dead. That's really bad for um, Let's Game. It look like looks like they've uh, lost complete mountain control. Yeah, I know there's been some talk about... Uh, Ooga Booga Monsters potentially not having a lot of PvP firepower, but they're doing a really, really good job holding this mountain against what I would presume is a pretty strong PvP team. So, big props to them there. Oh, it looks like, uh, Garethi Gar from Let's a Game is running the parkour for them right now. Yeah, he's in the wool box. It looks nice. like he's, if he does the pass around, he has fire res, I believe. Yep, and yeah. Swirlin is starting the one wide PvP. Not many people to shoot at him. Potentially Fire Clock could get shots, but I think he died. Looks like he died. Yes, he did. He did. So. This might be the game right here if they can't get shots on Swirlin. They could potentially also be on lockdown, but it's a little bit more rough. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they've even noticed him. I don't think they have. All four members are at the top of the mountain right now. It doesn't seem like it. And Swirlin's it's pretty deep. Yeah. yeah. Uncontested. Let's see, do we have Fireclaw coming or Girthy Garth coming out? He's splashing fire res. He's gonna go for the pass around. Which in my opinion isn't really necessary. Um, if you've got the fire res you might as well just run out unless there's someone really shooting you, but there's no one around. Yeah, I agree. It looks like um Ugu Booger has already gotten their pass around. He's gotten and the wool, you mean? Yeah, yeah, he's he, doing a pass he, around he retrieved, right now. retrieved the pass around. Um, so it, it looks like if, if Uber Booger can, can finish this PvP wall, which Swirlin is, is doing right now, they're gonna, that's probably going to be the game. Unless Let's a Game can pull yeah. off the tough VM lockdown. <laughs> the bat saving Swirlin. Um, <laughs> Swirlin has passed around the wall, but he's going to try to run it out legit just to save a little bit more time. Yeah. Also, avoiding the uh, full iron would make VM lockdown just a little bit, or VM run just a little bit harder. So Fireclaw does have his step back, but he's got to pressure Swirlin somehow, or pressure some of them. I wonder, okay, and Ooga Booga already has a way completed to the monument. It look, I think all angels might have done this. Oh, and he did get the pass around too, so they already have the parkour pass around that was dug down to. Yeah, that's what I was referring to earlier. Oh, okay. We're only getting pressured, but he's still at eight hearts. Cause Girthy, ooh, Girthy Garth fell out of the world. I wonder if that was on purpose. Yeah, let's the pass around is there. I wonder how he died. 
This game st st seemed to still be brewing potions and <clears throat> kind of basing up and getting gear within this PvE wolf. And that's really not what they need to be doing right yeah, now. Yeah, Girthy Garth intentionally suicided, which is fine, but it's going to take a while to get that, that pass around. Swirlin is nearly out of the wool. He's got a regen pot on. And he's getting some good cover from Hoi Guy in here. Yep, Swirlin is out. Yeah, Swirlin's out. All that's left to do is VM run. VM lockdown would be very difficult. If they got cannons there, it would be a little bit easier, but I, I don't know if they have cannons. They did get their cannon supplies at some point, but I don't know where it's gone. Potentially in the mountain here. Possibly. No, not really, actually. Oh, it's right here, actually. Well, it looks like Booger Booger is rotating to the VM to finish their VM run. Yep. So, victory is almost assured for them. Uh, right here. Uh, all angels and swirling. Mediocre dude still brewing potions like, uh, nothing's wrong. It looks like once again just isn't, like, aware enough. Of... Uh. Yeah, and they still haven't even started yeah. their PvP wall. They're only halfway through the PvE. Looks like Swollen is pretty much up. Yep. Get in some shots, but uh, he can play it pretty safe here. Yeah. Yep, that's gonna be... Yeah. Oh, he's gonna give Angels the place. Uh, nice. What a nice guy. Place. Nice. Good game. Good game. Both well, teams, looks like that's not going to be the first upset of a match of the tournament. Yeah, that was um pretty close in the early game. Um, I mean, they both were only a little bit delayed on the iron, and the mountain control was pretty contested. Actually, that's the game had mountain control for a decent bit there. Um, they yeah. just kind of lacked the wolf running, I think, um, to also, power through the map. It didn't seem like they were aware of what Uber Booger was, was doing with the PvP wool. Like, none of them ever really contested him much as he ran in and out of that wool. And that's really important on this map. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get some interviews. Okay, so we got TDK. It's gonna be Booger Booger Man himself. It is. Got the big team captain interviews here. Let's drag him in. Gotta find a way to say. Hello, Booger Booger Man. Hello. Hello. TDK. Hello. Good game. Good game. Yeah, good, good that was um, on. I thought that was a really interesting game. It was really tightly. It was it was really tight for the first at least half of the game. You guys yeah. were kind of neck and neck on iron, and um, uh, lots of game actually had mount control for the early game. Yeah. Yeah, I I think uh it turned around when uh both me and uh mediocre died. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, our like big strategy was to try to shut down just uh, PvP. Mm -hmm. But you guys ran for free after that, so. It was a bit unlucky that we managed to get like all the resources, because then by the time that we got to the top of the mountain, we actually just out-resourced you guys, which made it a lot easier for us to PvP. Yeah, that's true. That was a good game, though. I enjoyed it. No, it was fun. I enjoyed it, too. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting sort of anti-meta strat to rush the PvE and not the PvP bowl. Um, like, you you got iron, but you also rushed two of the three bowls. Yeah, so we're not that confident in our PvP, which has kind of been reflected in our 1 in 17 scrim record. Um, <laughs> and I think running the PvE first makes it a lot easier, it doesn't let any mobs spawn, it allows to get in the map. And then by the time oh, the that's true! Wall, that's a good point! Yeah, by you the can... time we get the third wall and the PvE wall, we can send everyone to the mountain with the iron gear and I can just run PvP wall for free, which pretty much happened. 
Yeah, that's an interesting idea because yeah, you can you don't have to control mountain. You can just can you can just hide in the PVE wall and PVP from the parkour and use those to lock down areas too. I thought a whole yeah. strat's kind of been around, but in our scrims, we've just been getting out PVP'd right at the start, and we've never been able to get to that point. Right. It's kind of sad, but yeah. I thought you guys did a really good job of controlling the mountain and the late game. Like, it was pretty much even armor for the most part, but you guys um, did kind of outshoot them at the end, I thought. I think it was going well, actually, until Bright Spirit kind of lagged out and died. That was uh, unfortunate, but you know. Yeah, I, I felt, felt kind of bad. He came back in to the game, and I didn't realize what was happening and shot him. Yeah, hey, you should have killed him, man. Put him in the dirt, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't his fault he lagged out. Game. <laughs> Take everything you can get, bro. Trust me. Yeah. Um, so, let's a game. It seemed like your strat was more just to kind of standard, get the iron, and try to hold the top of the mountain. Yeah, so the big one we thought we were going to have trouble with was the... Uh, PvP one, so our strat for that one was uh, we were gonna get some regen two potions for that. Oh yeah, I saw those brewing stands. Yeah, but we it took a little long to make, and we weren't able to hold the mountain long enough for that. Mm. So um, only thing is, is that we were actually gonna go for a similar strat as well. We were gonna go get the regen two potions and the brewing, and then try and run PvP with that. But in our practice, we also found out that it was taking too long, and by that yeah. time, like we were losing the game. Yeah, Mount of Mayhem is so much about just good timing and, like, fast-paced. It's kind of crazy. Like, you would think the diamonds would be so good to get because they're so easy to get, but just that extra minute or two that it takes to get it can be critical. Yeah, I don't think there's been a match yet that's been over 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I think... Well, I'm not sure. With the bulletproof one? I don't know. That's the only one that I can remember. Maybe twenty, maybe like twenty-five minutes max. But yeah, it's it's all been pretty short. Yeah. yeah. I think coming into next round, the matches are going to be a lot longer, which is going to be yeah interesting. It'll be a change of pace for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The teams that might have gotten by on just rushing and going fast and not PvP might have might. Uh, it's definitely going to be a change in, in the play style of next round. Very true. Do you have any questions, Kat? Uh, not for, uh, actually, uh, is there something you guys wanted to like, say to the other teams now that you've, uh, won? Uh, do, do you know who Vodka Martini is? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, so, yeah. Pikachu. No, Pikachu, do you know who Vodka Martini is? Yeah. You need to tell that man to not join my channel and start talking about your strat. Oh my. Did he not tell you? He did not tell me. Yeah, he literally oh joined the channel while you were screaming Rush and started talking about his strat, and we were trying to tell him to shut up so and it got to the point where I had to tell him, hey bro, can't wait to play my match. It's Sunday, 8 p.m. EST. And he realized, and he just left the Discord <laughs> without saying anything. Oh, well... I, it's a shame. Shame. I didn't get anything from it. I didn't get anything from that, but you know, it could have been real. So you just might want to pre-warn him for next time, you know? <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> I, don't, I think it was a good match. Yeah, it was fun. Well, uh... Oh, I guess something something I could ask about. It looked like you guys were planning on uh, Uga Virgo Monsters on doing a uh, cannon at the top of the mountain. Actually, both of you, I think, were boating cannons at one point for the top of the mountain. And then, like, both of you stopped. I'm just wondering oh, kind of so what happened when there. We were I mean, at least for us, when we were Don't locking ask. down, we weren't really planning on doing a cannon on top of the mountain. But because they were did have four people on top of the mountain at one point, we felt like it would probably be a good idea just to open it up a bit more. Mm -hmm. We never really got to it since I was able to run PvP and we had the pressure. But if there was a bit more, like... If I was having more trouble with PvP, we definitely wouldn't start cannoning on top of the Yeah. But it's not like we had one pre-planned or anything. Yeah. We were going to cannon uh, your chest at the top of the mountain, uh, mm. if we had the time to do it. Um, but you ended up getting to the chest before I set up that cannon. Um, and then you kind of set up base a little bit down the mountain, and I was going to try to cannon that. Uh, but when I tried, I realized I was going to die trying to do it, so I kind of yeah. that midway through.
I think the big, like, I think you do have the right idea going for that because the big counter trial strat was that we did have everything in that chest just down the mountain a bit. So if you did manage to cannon that, I think we would have had a lot of a tougher time. Yeah. The fact that you were even going to go for it in the first place is, like, kind of scary now looking back in hindsight. Yeah, I was, like, halfway through building that cannon. And, uh, no. Yeah. We also had uh, one of the uh, water blocks at the top of the mountain melt onto that cannon as I was building it. Oh, oh for real? What the hell? <laughs> That's so unlucky. What the hell? Yeah. So, uh, that kind of screwed us there a little bit. But I, I don't know if I would have gotten that cannon off. He had three guys on me when I was trying to build that. So. Hey, you never know, man. Yeah. Hey. Anything that happened. And then, like, I had, like, a couple cannon plans. Uh, it, we were holding PvP a little bit better to blow up some of the ladders, so I didn't get to do any of that. Mm, that would have actually stopped me, because I only had 10 blocks going into that PvP. A bit <laughs> yeah. of a short side on my part, because I didn't plan to die in PvE. Did you see that, Ben? Uh, no, I didn't actually catch it. Alright, let me explain to you. Alright, I'm running down the PvE, right? I'm in the last room. I'm going down the left side. I got the gravel from the TNT chest. I'm block spamming the hell out of it. Uh, I go to place gravel. My gravel disappears. I'm glitched in a block. <laughs> skeleton goes to shoot me. Creeper spawns. Skeleton shoots the creeper onto the block I'm sitting on, and I die. Mountain Mayhem is definitely one of those maps where anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's what I... That's creepy, dude. Yep. Um, Anyways, uh, uh, you don't have any more questions, Ben, I think. I thought of one more. Uh, okay. That's a game. I saw you guys, uh, I saw Girthy Garth do a pass around for a step in the parkour and then just suicide. Is there yeah, a reason yeah. why you guys wanted to do that versus, um, like, just run out of the wall? Both teams did that. Both teams suicide after passing around. Well, no, I think all angels tried to run out and then he just died. Is that uh, right? He jumps in the lava to make it look like he tried to run out and die. Oh! Okay, so he also suicided. And it just was kind of yeah. interesting, because oh. that pass round takes a little bit to, to actually go get. Yeah, was that was that lava death out on purpose? Yeah, that lava death was on purpose. Ah, uh, I didn't catch that. We didn't know if you guys um, had run the part 4 or not. And uh, yeah. by jumping in the lava, it kind of gives the illusion like you have a bit more time. But we needed him to get back and start making the victory monument. Because yeah, we were finding yeah. that in a lot of our scrims, by the time parkour, if we're having trouble or getting out PvP, then they're pretty much going to have all the walls at that time, so we needed the Victory Monument lockdown to get started. Yeah. For Let's Again, why did, uh, why did you do that? Oh, uh, we, it was just going to be faster for us, we figured. Uh, we were having a little bit of trouble with the parkour. So, uh, mm. our strat there was just to kind of ender pull across on the way there, and then die on the way back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe die under PvP pressure, maybe die under, like, falling into the lava, so. Alright. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it for me. Yeah, that's it for me, too. So we've uh, got one more round match tomorrow, um, in round one. And then, that'll, that's at 7 Eastern. And then after that, we're moving on to round two on procession. Yeah. Good game. Uh, both teams. Yeah, yeah, GG, man. GG. Okay, I'll go to end the stream. Good game, guys. Thanks for playing.